I'm not paying to extract what I, because I already paid a dollar fifty for the card. And they ought to have a warning label. And I told the U.S. Bank this, and probably somebody at Kroger, they ought to have a warning label on there. You cannot use this card unless we get your Social Security number and your age. All right, that ought to be on the outside of the package. Not on the inside. Well, it's not even on the inside. You have to call them to get the thing. Um, you know, I could use it to call uh, and make pay, uh, buy stuff on the phone. And I don't buy stuff on the phone. I don't buy stuff on the Internet. Or, well, rarely do I. But that's not here or there. I got the card to pay my house and my car insurance. And I can't do either because I don't have, one, a permanent card. They refuse to give me a permanent card unless they extort my private information. Now, I told them, hey, hold up. This is not a daggone credit card. This is a prepaid credit debit card whereby that is my money, not your money. That's my money. I'm just using your card for the convenience of it to be able to pay my house and my truck insurance. And I can't do that. And I can't get out of my house. So I, I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard spot here. I can't get out to go and pay because they want, the insurance company, wants um, a routing number for the card. I can't get a routing number from the card till I get the permanent card. And then again, they want the social security number. Now that is against federal laws. Okay, and I know them well. That is against federal laws to extort from somebody their private information. And I daggone sure I'm not giving that out. So here I am in a catch-22 and I need my money back. Okay. So, and I remember you calling about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hope I wasn't too rude then, because I'm pissed. I mean, seven hours, uh, nonstop, I swear to God, and I, I've audio taped the whole damn thing. Because I told U.S. Bank, when they sat there and told me that stuff, I said, you got to be kidding. I said, what the hell are y'all doing? Collecting all this shit for the government or what? Why in God's green earth would they need my freaking Social Security number and my birth date? This is not anything this bank is doing for me, you see. Oh, the, you can't obtain that information till you purchase the car and you come home and you cut the packet open. So, no, I, I haven't even read it. I called to activate the card yesterday. I called today to get the bank routing number to give it to my insurance company so they could extract the money payment for this month of the card. They can't do it. Okay, somebody just hit my goddamn house. Hey, you fucking son of a bitch. Hit it again, motherfucker. All right, I'm back. I had to say some few choice words, you son of a bitch. Just hit my damn window. Okay, neighbor problems. Assholes over here. $287 even. It's not going to charge me, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm not going to be willing to do. Okay? Congress is going to bite me on here. They're going to bite it because I am not paying $2, $3, or a dollar to extract my daggone money. It's not happening. They weren't forthright. And to have a contract, a legal, viable contract, everything has to be disclosed, and it was not. So, here I am. 
So, and I'm not, I'm not trying to take it out on you. I know you're just doing what you got to do, but somebody there is going to bite it on the, whatever the charge is, because it ain't going to be me. Now, I am a staunch supporter of freedoms in this, in this uh, country. I am a freaking patriot. You cut me and the blood just isn't the only thing that comes out. It comes screaming out. Okay? Blue blood. And uh, I'm not being stolen from. I'm not going, I don't give a daggone if it was a penny. I'm not going to be robbed. So, you know.